because I know it does because they called me in to help them with it, right? <laughs> so I want to, I, I got to do some kind of review and look at it and say, hey, what can we do better? And it's not just simply me going out and looking at it and say, oh yeah, so I, there's measurements, there's things I look at. So I've kind of, I've kind of put them on, on a paper and I, I blogged about it a little bit and I finally came up with some really good things that I, I, I checked out. The first thing I look at is communication. And this is one that you're not going to be able to pre-measure, unfortunately. So some of these aren't going to be things you can do and determine right away. But there's a great book called Click Here, um, Web Communication. So a lot of people do web development, right? So there's a great book that talks about communication for web development. And there's a lot of different things you can do when you're, um, when you're looking at it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure, how much money is this company spending in training? So how many people have to have, to have training on the applications you build? Anybody? A few, right? Okay. So training can be very expensive. So in the building automation world, we spend millions of dollars in training, right? And that was a big problem. So the first thing I was looking at is how can your UIs communicate better? So I'm looking at things like are they using icons, right? Because you, icons, again, like I told you, I, I, I actually gave this away, is you want to use them small, and the, more, the less you use them, the more the ones you do use will have impact, right? And there's great, there's great collections of web icons out there. Everybody has web icons, right? They use web icons in their, in their development? No? Anyway, the next thing 